Hello guys and welcome to Astrology Coaching by Anatoly. Today I'm going to show you with my magic whiteboard. I'm going to show you a different combination whether you are a good astrologer or whether you have the combination or the things that you have to check to become a really good astrologer. Now I'm just I'm going to drink a little bit of coffee. I'm shooting a lot of videos today. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to draw the chart of the North Indian chart. Maybe you know it. This is the North Indian chart. And it looks like that. Let me see. Okay, everything is fine. You can see it. So, now I'm going to draw the North Indian chart and I'm going to show you what you have to check and uh, what to do. First, I, I have to, of course, I have to say that the whole chart is important. You cannot judge uh, whether you're a good astrologer, whether you be a famous person, only by one thing or a few combinations. You need to check, check the whole chart, you need to check the whole positions, the aspects, everything. But the things and <clears throat> but the things that I always checked and I always seen, first that it is if you want to be a good astrologer, you have to have the mission, the moksha mission. The moksha mission is uh, determined by what kind of nakshatras you have uh, and um, I mean if uh, there are some nakshatras who, who which has more moksha, uh, moksha means spiritual and uh, I don't know whether you are aware but there is dharma, kama, arta and moksha Dharma is the mission, Dharma to have a mission in this life, to have a specific uh, duty in this life. Uh, kar karma is to follow your dreams, what you like. Um, Arta is to follow the material things and Moksha is to follow the, um, uh, the spiritual enlightenment. So it is really, really important to have more Moksha in your, um, in your life. Moksha, the enlightenment, comes with pain of course so I, I have always said I have always said that if uh, you want if, if you want to be a good astrologer if you want to be a good psychologist psychotherapist life coach you need to you uh, there has to be suffering in your life there has to be pain you have to be in very painful situation because only the pain can bring enlightenment and when you have the enlightenment, only then you can help other people. Of course, you can go to university, study psychotherapy, for example, psychology. But if, but, uh, but if you don't, if you don't have suffer, if you don't have the suffer, the suffering in your soul, this means that you can give your knowledge to the other people, to the people who comes to you as a client. But you can never heal them because you don't know what is the pain. And for example, if you if you want to become a business coach, you need to fail hundreds of times in order to become really good coach, business coach. Okay, so first thing you have to check all the houses. You know that this is the first house, second house, uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. This is the first house. This is the seventh house. This is the fourth house. This is the tenth house, and it is in this way. So the first thing is to check the whole chart. The other thing, you have to check the planets, the following planets. They are the rulers, the main rulers. Mercury, Jupiter, Ketu. Uh, yes, you see. Um, but some people say Mars too. But uh, I haven't seen in my practice... I haven't seen in my practice that Mars is a very good uh, indi indicator of astrology. Uh, most of the people that are do good in astrology, at least the people who are interested in astrology, have really good Mercury, Jupiter or Ket. The other things, you have to check the 6th house. These are the Dushtana houses, 8th house, 12th house. Sixth house, enemies, problems. 8th house, death, occult, mysticism, astrology. 12th house, spiritual dimension. If you have planets here, here or here, this means that you are interested in the hidden world, in the other dimension, in other things that, uh, that are not material. So astrology is one of the things. The other thing that you have to check is the other uh, signs, of course. The Scorpio is the original si uh, sign. Scorpio is the original sign of um, occult, mysticism, astrology. Aquarius, Aquarius for sure, Aquarius, Virgo, you may be surprised but one of the best astrologers are Virgos because there is Nakshatra Hasta there. The other thing is good to check Pisces and Sagittarius, 
they are more spiritual they are like teacher but for sure they can bring a lot of uh, they are uh, they can if you have plans there you can be you will be interested in astrology and this type of things now i'm going to read the nakshatras that are very popular among the astrologers so you can check whether you have such uh, nakshatras brani mrigrishira ashlisha utara falguni hasta shravana shatabishak purva bhadrapada utara bhadrapada these are the main nakshatras so you can check this and you can see whether you have it in your own chart i'm preparing an online vedic astrology course with this board so we're going so i'm going to speak more about the charts and the planets and everything so yeah uh, i hope you like the video bye